What is up guys, this is Lazerbolt with another Dying Light video guys. Today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to actually get trophies. Now you're probably wondering, Laser, why are trophies important? Why do we need them? And because I haven't needed them so far. Well, this is pretty much end game currency that's going to make your life easier or it can make your life super hard. But since you guys are watching this video, you guys are going to have a breeze collecting this because I'm going to give you guys the best location to farm unique trophies, rare trophies, epic trophies, without taking any damage, without worrying about getting hit, and doing it fast and quickly. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested in, guys, a like would be greatly appreciated. It does help us out with the algorithm. And if you want to show a little bit more love and support, subscribe, turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss our Dying Light 2 content. Now, why are trophies important? The reason why trophies are important because anytime you guys want to come and do any sort of upgrade to specific weapons or you know night runner tools accessories consumable weapon mods you are going to need a thing called a infected trophy you're going to need an uncommon one you're going to need a rare one and you're going to need a unique one anytime you want to upgrade this item you're going to come to this point where you want to upgrade it but unfortunately you can't because you know why you do not have enough crafting resources now how do you come about getting enough? For example, if you want to, if I want to level up this Molotov, it takes guys. Look at that! It takes a total of a hundred uncommon trophies, twelve rare trophies, and nine infected trophies. Now, I've you noticed in my inventory, which I'll show you guys right now, I already leveled them a, a lot of really good stuff already, because I spent a lot of these infected trophies, and I actually found a spot where you can get a lot of these guys in very easily without taking any damage. But that is the reason why these are really important. Also guys, if you ever want to go ahead and upgrade or do or craft some weapons or, or upgrade any sort of item, for example, from your from your crafting menu. So if you want to go to your crafting menu and you want to craft items, that is also going to require infected trophy. So you see here, this one, which is your infected arrow right here, will require an infected trophy. And some other stuff will also require infected trophies. So you want to make sure you have as many as you possibly can. Now, before you go and do any of this, for example, this one, you guys see Infected Blade, Infected Trophy as well. Before you go and do this, I do want to make sure you are prepared. So what are you going to need in order to get this done? Well, the first thing we're going to need, guys, is I'm going to have you guys get a DIY grenade. This is extremely important because it's going to make your farm really easily. This pretty much one shot kills everything that comes your way. And that's why I suggest you pick this one up. I'm going to recommend to have between 100 to 200, even 300. I mean, usually when I do the runs, it's usually I go like, you know, like 150, 175, uh, 200 if I'm trigger happy. Uh, but that is one way. These are the ones I would recommend. If you don't want to do these, you could go with knives. Just the knives take longer to actually kill the guts. These are pretty much one-shot kills. They one-shot kill. Another option would probably be to doing a dying force. If you have enough of these, you'll be able to do some really good damage because these are one-shot kill weapons as well. Or you can go ahead and use your uh, use your bow and in your bow use the um, the explosive arrow, which is this right here, and have enough explosive arrows. Use your bow, and it kind of has the same effect as a DIY grenade. But I prefer the DIY grenade better. It just seems more effective to me in my personal point of view. But that's gonna be up to you guys now. What you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to go to this section of the map, and I'll show you guys exactly where we're going. So we're going to go to this section right here, guys, in the map, so I can show you guys where that's at. It's going to be right here on the map. So you're going to go to this part right here where I set my waypoint. But before you get up here, you're going to want to make sure you climb this building. So I'm going to put it right now on how to climb the building in case you're having a hard time climbing it, so it can be easier for you guys to climb the building. It's not that difficult, but the entrance is right here on the back side. Just climb up and you guys should be good to go. Now, when you climb this building, you're going to notice that there is a hollow. You want to come here during the night, guys. As soon as it hits nights, that's when you want to come here because you want to maximize that form. So you're going to notice there's a total of four to five hollows. You're going to want to make sure, this is extremely important, that you leave these guys alive. The reason why you want to leave these alive is because the more hollers there are, the more ads that will spawn in. Now, for video purposes, I didn't leave all of them alive, but I did leave some of them alive. And the cool thing about these guys is that they don't really do any sort of damage to you as long as you're not really close to them. So you can just leave them alive without a problem. Now what makes this farm super easy is the fact that you are going to be able to funnel the ads or funnel the zombies 
in just one direction. It just makes it really easy, guys. What you want to do is come at night and start a chase. Now, once you start a chase, you're going to have the holler kind of holler at you, and you're going to start the chase. You're going to let it get to level one, level two. Once again, do not kill the hollers. Leave them alive. Just kill the rest of the zombies that are within the area. Now, once you hit level three, this is where things start getting interesting because there's going to be a truck right in front of you that is going to have ads spawning out of that truck. It's, what you want to do is you want to be getting close to the truck, getting away from the truck, getting close to the truck because sometimes when you're not close to the truck, you won't get them to spawn, but you want to be close so they can start spawning. Once you see them spawning, lob two to three grenades and the grenades will do everything for you. You don't have to worry about anything else. You lob the grenade, you pretty much kill them. Now, when you kill all the ads, which is going to be almost all the night, it's going to take you like between 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to have a ton of loot, which I'll show you towards the end of the video, where you'll have rare, unique, epic trophies to collect without any problem. And you could do this once again, wait for the nighttime, come back and do this over and over and over until you have enough epic, rare, or uncommon trophies. This is by far the easiest farm for a couple reasons. Number one, you can do this over and over. Number two, you don't have to be traveling to a fast point or a save point. You don't have to be rinsing and repeating like by dying and resetting the point. All you got to do is have enough grenades and come at nighttime. And you don't, the best thing is, you don't have to worry about getting killed or getting rushed or getting injured because they are in a checkpoint, like in a choke point where they cannot go anywhere else. You don't have to worry about your back, your side, your right. All you got to worry is about the ads that are coming from the front. Check the grenades and have them explode. I'm going to let the rest of the video play out of me actually doing this. And you're going to see towards the end where I collect all these trophies where are unique, epic, and rare. And you're going to have a ton of loot laying around. And not only that, but you also get uh, you know money. You get old world currency. And you get other items that you could probably sell as well to make even more money. And there you guys have it, guys. That is the best trophy farm found in the internet. Trust me, guys. You won't find anything better than this. And if you guys are enjoying what we're doing here in the channel, do me a huge favor, guys, to drop a like. It does help us out with the algorithm. Don't forget to leave a comment if you're enjoying our content. And also, guys, I want to know one thing. Have you finished Dying Light 2? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the... Oh, yeah. One thing I did want to mention, guys. I will have a video talking about one of the best mods for Dying Light 2. So you're going to want to make sure you write that down and keep it locked here. Subscribe to the channel so you guys won't miss that video. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll catch you guys later. You farm, just come at nighttime, hang out right here, wait for them to spawn, get to the, uh, level four, and once you get to level four, it's just pretty much throwing grenades over and over. I would suggest bringing at least 200 grenades or 300. If you want to know how to duplicate your grenades, definitely check out my video. I'll leave a link in the annotation and also in the description. Super duplication glitch that's going to let you have unlimited amount of grenades. And if you need help with that, join our Discord. Link is down below. We'll be more than happy to to show you guys now after you guys done all the killing what's going to make this even better is you're going to notice all the loot that's in the floor you're going to be picking that up and you're going to see all the cool stuff that you're able to pick infected trophy unique which are going to be extremely important for you guys to upgrade really really fast really easy as you guys noting right here look at all the stuff we have this is going to let you get money not only that but the infected trophy as well which makes this run really really easily now i've seen other forms and yes they're pretty good but the problem with those particular farms is the fact that it's not unlimited ads and you have the possibility of dying. With this one, you don't have the possibility of dying because you control how fast the ads are dying. Not only that, but you also control, uh, you know, when you want them to stop running at you and when to stop. But look at all the stuff we're collecting. Not only are we farming that, but look at all the stuff we're farming, guys, because all the death that happened at nighttime.